Last night, I was, I finished dancing at about half past nine and um, had about a million messages on my phone and kind of looked through those. And then I got on to, went and had a little look on Facebook, you know, how we're all connecting and that at the moment. And there was a video came up with Miranda Hart did a live kind of video. I kind of um, went back on it as a replay. And um, she was talking about her contribution to society and, and how she needed a purpose and how it's one of the um, human needs to feel like you've got a purpose. So I thought that's actually quite important right now because when we're kind of stuck indoors and um, and not doing our usual thing, it makes us reevaluate um, it, what, what is our purpose? Are we doing our, what our heart desires? Are we kind of just doing what we have to do? So I wanted to sort of make you stop and think about doing right by you, by what really makes you truly happy. So she spoke also about that dog, honestly. I'm so grateful he's still alive, but he's getting old and blind and he just barks because he thinks he can see things. Um, I'm going to have to go and shut him up. Hang on a second. It's like having seven kids in this house. I've got three dogs, two cats. No, yeah, three dogs, two cats. That's five, six, seven, eight. And three kids. Eight. Eight kids in the house. It's a nightmare. But I do love them all. Anyway. Okay, so. Also want you to think about the, as Miranda Hart actually said, and I didn't think about it before, but you think about all of the people that are living with um, chronic illness. Um, that means that they can't ever leave their homes. And we're complaining that we've been stuck indoors for nearly two weeks or maybe longer, and it's gonna be a long time. But there's so many people out there that are confined to their homes due to chronic illness and um, so many different chronic illnesses, you know, that could be um, a chronic mental illness. It could be a physical illness that means that, you know, they they can't go far from home. Um, so they're, they're stuck indoors. Um, my aunt hasn't left her house in 10 years. And you sit and think, well, actually, do they complain? So really, we should really think about that and be so grateful, actually, that we are able, you know, once this is all over, we just can kind of, we can see an end in sight, you know, there, there will be an end to this and we'll be able to go outside again. So again, coming back to gratitude, but that's not what this is all about today. This is all about um, taking the time that we have got to be indoors and to do our, do our thing and, and um, working it out what it is that is our purpose. And some of us are kind of in a, a pattern of doing what we do because it's what we do. And, uh, and that's not necessarily feeding our souls and making us really, really happy. So this is, is one, you know, that could be a bit difficult for the younger ones of you to get your head around. But I did, um, I was very lucky that two of my very good friends um, sent me to a Tony Robbins conference. Um, he's a very clever man, um, a life, you know, life coach, uh, worldwide coach. Um, and he talks about the six core needs, um, human needs. They're basic human needs. I mean, obviously your first one is your, your food, water, etc., and stuff like that. And there is, um, hierarchy for the basic human needs but there's there's other core human needs um, and he says there's six so you have 
certainty or variety, significance, love and connection, growth or contribution. So, what I want you to do is, if you can, go and grab yourself a pen and paper or look over this again a bit later, grab yourself a pen and paper and do this exercise. So with the, um, the first four, you've got certainty. So do you, do you like to have certainty in your life? So you're gonna write these down, the six core needs. And I want you to number them from what's most important to you is number one, down to the one that's least important to you. So certainty could be, you know, you always have to know what you're doing a year in advance, which is, this is so not me. Um, having to know answers, um, that can be really, really important to some people. Is that important to you? If that was for me, you know, for cer certainty for me, quite often means boredom. For other people, they get quite frustrated with me because they like things to be certain. And I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah, I will deal with it when we come to it. And that can drive people that like certainty absolutely bonkers. Then there's variety. So variety, do you like variety? Um, maybe you find variety quite exciting. You know, just do you dip in and out of things? Do you... Um, do a lot of things. Do you do a lot of like after school activities if you're at school? Do you do lots of different kind of activities rather than just one thing? Um, and if you do one type of thing, like for example, a lot of you are, are my dancers, do you just do ballet? Or do you like the variety of doing a bit of street as well? Some people are like, oh no, just ballet. I, I can't be doing that street street like stuff a lot of people like the variety the third thing do you like significance is that important to you okay so it's having a meaning it's pride it's um feeling the need to be wanted um needing to feel needed feeling worthy of love all of that comes under significance do you feel important enough? Is this important to you to feel significant to somebody or to others? And the fourth one is love and connection. So is this really important to you to feel the need for communication with your loved ones or, or, or people that you care about? Do you need to have communication with them? Do you feel unified in your family setting? Do you feel... Um, like you um, have approval from your your pack, if you like. Um, do you have attachments? Um, is that really, really important to you? So that's the first four. And the last two come under um, spiritual needs, okay? So the others are, are, are your core needs, but these are spirit, definitely spiritual needs. So you've got growth. So do you have a constant need for emotional growth? So it's the understanding of others and, um, you know, try it, empathy and sympathy and, and all of that. Do you have um, a need to build your intellectual growth or your spiritual development? So always yearning for some kind of growth, whether that's in learning a new skill. Um, is that important to you? And the last one is contribution. So it's the need to give beyond yourself. So do you, do you love giving and caring for others? Um, do you feel the need to protect others and to serve? So is that high on your list of priorities? Okay. So what we're doing here is we're working out kind of what's important to you and that kind of helps you to work out your purpose if you like because if you're living your day-to-day -day life 
doing something that doesn't fit in with what's most important to you, maybe it's time to sit and have a think about that. Hmm. So, have a little think through those lists. I'm going to read them out again and see what jumps out to you. I'm just going to read the, the title. What jumps out to you um, as being the biggest priority on that list to you? What's most important? So, is it certainty? Variety? Significance? Love and connection? Growth? Or contribution? What do you feel is most important to you? Now, help you out as well, because with the certainty and variety uh, needs, what can happen is if they are kind of really imbalanced, for example, you know, like I was saying, um, with the certainty thing, chances are if you really have to have everything certain, you're going to get bored very quickly. And um, with the significance slash love and communication for those two together, if that's really imbalanced, if you, for example, find significance is a real high priority, chances are you're going to be putting a lot of in like a lot of your energy into being significant or becoming significant, and you're not going to be giving to the part or that that goes to love and connection so you're going to be so you know engrossed in the whole significance thing that you won't put the energy as much into love and connection so they can they can kind of cause imbalances um if you are heavily into one of those one of those is is a top priority for you and um, so i did a little test online for myself and it came up that my thing was contribution. Um, you can do the test yourself. It's a uh, six, the number six hyphen human hyphen needs dot sfwalker.com. It's just one I found online um, just to see what mine came up as. Now, I would have said that mine was growth because I am um, constantly wanting to learn something new. I've literally just ordered a new book i'm not a shaman but i am interested in shamanic healing and stuff like that so just had a new book come today and it feels really nice as well i'm really grateful for my book i don't know when i'm going to read it but um so yeah so growth i feel is important to me but you might want to go on and do a little test online for your six core human needs because it kind of helps you to work out where it is you're going if you're feeling like you've got no purpose at the moment maybe that's something to to look at so have a look at your priorities list if you haven't been able to write it down and write your numbering one to six one being the um highest priority um then do that later how are you meeting all of these needs you don't need to look at all of them and just ask yourself are you actually meeting all of those needs? Because if you are, then you're going to be quite well balanced. Okay, so maybe you need to look at the areas that need to have a little bit more, um, you know, need to look into those areas a bit more. Um, can you relate to all of these needs? Do you kind of understand them? Do you do you go, ah, oh, yeah, I, I kind of, I don't feel like that. I don't do that. You know, like I said to you that for me, certainty is like, oh, you know, we do need some certainty in our lives for security, which is one of our human needs. We do need some certainty. Um, but I, I kind of understand them all. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ask. Pop it in here. <laughs> um, okay, so think of that one, number one human need. Just pick one out of the air. If you, if you have been able to work out what was your you know, main one, which one was the one that felt like it was what drives you the most, 
can you just give me a thumbs up if you if you think you kind of worked out which one was for you certainty variety significance love and connection growth or com contribution excellent bella courtney hayley excellent great okie dokie right so oh brilliant thanks charlotte okay good good so now we're going to go into our little meditation again i want you to take that need with you i remember what that human need is okay now i want you to close your eyes again Imagining warmth all over you from head to toe. Okay, relax every muscle. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hands and your arms. Take a deep breath in through your nose. and out through your mouth and relax your chest relax your stomach muscles and your thighs all the way down and give it all heat and warmth and relaxation down through your calves and feel your feet grounding you. Feel the weight of your feet on the ground. And feel them growing roots like trees into the ground. And bring up the name of your need, whether it be certainty, variety, significance, love and connection, growth or contribution. Now think about all of those things that, that mean that word to you. What do you do with that word? How do you use that word? How do you use, for example, variety in your life? What does it bring to you? Now think about what it is you do for fun or for your work. And think about how you use that in your work or in school or in your you know, leisure activities. take a couple of moments to think about that. If this is your number one priority and your need, does that fit in with it? Does that fit in with what it is you do? Is it fulfilling you? Is there somewhere in your life that you feel that that could fulfill you more? And give yourself the time to let your mind wander, to think about what it is you could do to make yourself feel more fulfilled in that area. Maybe you could bring in some of the other needs that you didn't think were that important to you. And think about how you could make them more important to you to fit in with how you live your life. And take a deep breath in through your nose. Notice how your heart feels. Can you feel it beating?
feel the warmth going to your heart and the feeling that feeling fulfilled gives you. And the excitement of new challenges and opening your mind to something that maybe you haven't before. Take another deep breath. And when you're ready, release that breath and slowly open your eyes. Okay. Right, so hopefully that's given you food for thought and um, purpose, okay? Thinking of your purpose, what it is that drives you to get out of bed in the morning. And if you're not being driven to get out of bed in the morning, you need to be thinking about what would. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm glad you like that, Bella. Okay, everyone, I hope you're all well. And um, I shall be back here tomorrow. Lots of love to you all. And I'll see you then.